Good morning and welcome to heaven on earth in this stunning location high up in the mountains in a meadow below some uh, some above tree line still snow covered peaks what a beautiful beautiful creek today i'm fishing the dragon tail kaida rod with a nine foot line and a super realistic fly i'll put a close-up picture that'll that'll focus better on the on the fly here i don't remember the website where i bought these i'll put that on the screen here they're expensive but they are I mean, that looks exactly like a house fly, so should be fun. Let's get to fishing. I assume there are fish in here, but you never really know until you start fishing, do you? This is a high elevation stream. I'm at about, oh, there we go. Fish on, brook trout. Oh, first couple of minutes. The first couple of casts, I mean. He was definitely interested in the hyper-realistic fly, and so was that guy. Wow. I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be able to catch fish. There's got to be a fish in here. Yep, got him. Oh, man. That's not especially... Confidence boosting. I don't know why I keep losing fish on here. Three fish on in the first couple minutes and three fish off just as fast. These were barbed hooks, but I, I mashed the barbs on them. Yeah, lots of fish in here. Wow. This is going to be gonna be something we got one finally got one off to a promising but a little bit of a rough start see you buddy nice yeah no problems with this fly we're gonna be able to catch a ton of fish here got it I saw the fish chase it. It's the same pool where I caught the last one. Fly is out. Oh, hang on. That's a cutthroat. Yes, I've been wanting to catch a cutthroat up here. To be honest, I don't even know what species, what subspecies of cutthroat are in here. Uh, I'm gonna say Colorado River cutthroat, but I'm not positive on that. Beautiful, beautiful native fish. Awesome. Fish on right away. Let's see, it's another brook trout. See ya, buddy. Pretty much every, oh, lost him. Pretty much every good piece of holding water has a fish in it. That's just incredible. What a gem, what a gem of a stream. And luckily the weather seems to be clearing. It rained as I was hiking in here. And uh, it's nice to see some blue sky, some clear skies here. Fish on. Ooh, nice one. And off again. Man, I don't know what the deal is. That was a nice fish. I'll tell you what though, that bright blue fly is very easy to see in the water. It's easy to see the takes of the fish. I just keep an eye on that blue fly and when it disappears like that, I know I've got a fish on. It's another brook trout. Fly is out. See you, buddy. I saw that take. Because again, 
keeping my eye on the fish. It's another, or keeping my eye on the fly. Yet another brook trout. Huh, so several, several brook trout. Just one cutthroat. See ya, buddy. Got him. It's a cutthroat. Yes. Wow. That's a beautiful fish. Absolute stunner. This is maybe seven, seven inches, seven or eight inches. That is a beautiful, beautiful fish. See you, buddy. Got him. Looks like another cutthroat. Yes. Okay, we're evening the score a little bit between brook trout and cutthroat. See ya, buddy. I mean, these fish aren't huge, but they sure are pretty. And they're hungry. Got him. And we are back to brook trout. See ya. Got him. Brook trout. Yeah, one of the nicer ones so far. See ya, buddy. Got him. See ya, buddy. You know, I haven't seen too many creeks with this many fish. This is, uh, this is up there as far as fish quantity, as far as fish density is concerned. There are a lot of fish over here. And again, on the next cast, I mean, just nonstop. See ya, buddy. Got him. Oh, that was a nice one. That was the first cast after the last fish. There we go. See ya, buddy. Fish on. See ya, buddy. Got one. Looks like the fly is out. See ya, buddy. Fish on. It's a brook trout. Got him. See ya, buddy. Fish on.
next cast. Nice, very nice. Seven or eight inches. Fish on. Brook trout on the other side of the creek, safely in the net, flies out. See ya, buddy. Fish on. See ya, buddy. Fish on, brook trout. Straight into the net. That's what I like. No messing around, no flailing around. From hook to net. Nice brook trout. See ya, buddy. The creek's getting a little bit smaller here, a little bit narrower. The trees are closing in a little bit more. I don't, I don't know if that's a, a general trend for the whole creek or if that's just this little section. Guess we'll see. Fish on. Brook trout. It's weird. I haven't seen any cutthroat in a while. See ya, buddy. Fish on. Got him. I think the fly is out. See ya, buddy. The wind is picking up a little bit. Fish on, oh, darn it. Uh, but the wind is from my, there we go, fish on. Uh, the wind is at my back, so it's not too bad. Fish off. Fish on. Got him. Adios. I think I'm gonna try to say something instead of see ya buddy after each fish here. I see, I say, I usually say see ya buddy. Let's try something else each time. Let's see if I can come up with, uh, with that many things to say. Fish on. All right. Ciao, little fish. Fish on, ooh, nice, brook trout. Nice. Let's see, we've done Spanish and Italian. What else do I know? Adieu, fish. Fish on. Nice. Oh, line is caught in the tree. Another brook trout. See ya, buddy. Oops. I mean, <laughs> it just comes naturally. Let's see what else. Zaijian. That's Chinese. Fish on, ooh, biggest one yet, it's a rainbow? No, it's gotta be a cutthroat. No. Let's see. Huh.
I mean, that's a rainbow trout, right? That's cool. It's been a while since I've caught a rainbow and this one is a good 10, 11 inches. Nice. I thought it might be a cut bow at first, but I'm not seeing any kind of cutthroat slash on it. See ya, buddy. That's very odd. Super cool though. Three species in one creek is what I like to see. I like multi-species fishing. Got one. We're back to brook trout. Das Vidania. Fish on. Oh, so close. It's just six inches away from the net. Got him. Saw him come up. I was keeping the fly kind of toward the top of the surface so I could see the fly better. Nice. Uh, the Bobachnya, that's Ukrainian. I'm running out of languages here. Nice! Oh, that was a good one. That was like a 9 or 10 incher, I think. Ooh! Oh! No! I think that same fish went for it again. Oh, good. We've kept the fly. I do have one more of these flies, but like I said, they're expensive. I'd rather keep them in, in action if I can for as long as possible. Okay, there we go. Oh! Oh! Okay! <laughs> that was... I don't know if you could see that, but he came off and was bouncing around in the, in the rocks here, then eventually flung his way into the net. That is a beautiful cutthroat. Nice! There are more trees around me now. I've got to be careful. A little bit more careful. Yeah, that fish wasn't quite as big as I thought it was. I think that was the same fish that came back a few different times. That was like a seven or eight incher. Fish in. Farewell. If you couldn't tell, we are just racking up the numbers of fish here. It's just unbelievable fishing. Okay, nice big open flat section here. Ooh, a fish just went for it but didn't connect. Oh! There we go. So long. Fish on. Decent sized brookie. Auf Wiedersehen. I'm just going through the sound of music. So long, farewell, Auf Wiedersehen, goodbye. We're coming close to the end here, guys. I think I've just about had my fill. You know, you could spend days fishing this creek and catch just hundreds of fish if you wanted to. Until we meet again. All right. I think we've reached that point where we can catch one more fish and then call it quits. Will it be in this same pool, just on the right side, maybe? Nope. 
Looks like we got to go up to the next pool. Will this be the magical spot? Fish on. Can I land him? Yes. Okay, well, guys, this is fish number 41, if you can believe it. Say goodbye to our final brook trout. Man, what a stream. Just epic fishing. So, can a hyper-realistic fly catch anything? Uh, yeah, it can. It can catch a lot of fish. Believe it or not, that was one hour and three minutes of fishing. 41 fish in about an hour. Just unreal. And awesome little rod here. I really enjoy fishing with this rod. And I, I think I fished with it entirely in its shortest length today, which is about nine feet. Uh, as for the fly, the, uh, the hyper-realistic fly, uh, I took a look at it before wrapping it up and putting it away. And the wings are completely gone. The head is mostly gone. It's just like a blue and black kind of blob now. I'll put a picture of it on the screen here so you can see it. But amazingly, I was able to get through 41 fish on, on the one fly. Luckily for me, the, the casting wasn't too tricky on this creek. You know, there are trees around, but especially in the first part, I mean, the trees were kind of off to the side a little bit. And yeah, anyway, all time creek. You could easily, easily catch 100 fish in a day here. This might be the easiest, uh, fastest fishing creek I've ever fished. Just unreal. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna get out of here, go try to find somewhere else to fish. So I'll see you in the next one.